meeting. Um, we are going to consider the budget vote um, report. Uh, hoping that um, all members got the report and went through it. And um, we, we we now ready uh, for the um, uh, Lubabalo. Don't call me. I'm in a virtual meeting. You must text. It's important that you text now. You are you are disturbing me. I'm opening the portfolio committee of uh, the international relations now. Can you can we all mute our mics? Uh, honorable members and uh, everyone who is in the meeting. So I was saying um, today we are going to consider um, the, the, the budget vote uh, report and um, we will go through it um, the normal way, one by uh, page by page, um, but in so doing, uh, honorable members, you do have a report in front of you, ne? Mm. You have reports. You can nod your heads. And, oh, just decide that you got the reports in front of you. Yes, Chair. The budget report, okay? So, um, we are going to uh, consider uh, the report. I'm going to allow Udinewo to to do a a, a summary um, a, of the introduction of the report, and then Mina, I will take over from the findings. We are going to do findings page by page, um, like we normally do um, when we are in Parliament. We are going to do findings page, page by page and then uh, adopt page by page, and then deal uh, with the recommendations page by page, and adopt uh, those recommendations. Um, because in the main, uh, the report uh, focuses on what the department presented to us in the last meeting. So we cannot exhaust our time uh, on 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 that because we've engaged on it already. So that's why I'm, I'm saying Dina will do a summary of that uh, for us, and then um, on the findings, uh, I take over as the chair, and we do the findings uh, one by one, uh, page by page, sentence by sentence as well as the, the recommendations. Uh, not unless members um, have a different view or a proposal. I'm, I'm a very democratic human being myself. So um, that's what is going to be um, happening. Uh, welcome uh, DG and, uh, and, and the department uh, with the ministry. Uh, in our presence, uh, we really appreciate to have you, uh, even in the midst of lockdown, COVID-19 um, difficulties, it's important to have you here as the Portfolio Committee. We always appreciate it. So I'm going now to allow Ulu Babalo uh, to do... Yeah, apologies. Is there any apologies, Lubabalo? Uh, thank you, Chair. We was unable to connect. Apologies. Uh, thank you, Chair. We have one apology from Honorable Msane. Uh, she's attending to other engagements. And she also noted that as EFF, they Network, network, Yako is, is problematic. We did not hear you. Uh, as I was saying, Chair, I have one apology from Honorable Msan, who also noted that EFF rejects the budget. How do they reject the budget, which is not presented? Uh, How do you... 
how do you reject a draft which has not been tabled uh, before the portfolio committee? Uh, uh, so in the apology, so she noted that during adoption, so it must be stated that EFF does not support the budget, Chair. Uh, they will have to submit a new note because we are we are dealing we are considering the budget now. So how do you reject something which is not considered? We are only going to accept the apology. Other things we are not going to entertain. Okay, sir. No, sir. Please. Um, is there any? I uh, there's no other apology except for that. No, sir. No, sir. Is the whip connected? Uh, IT is still uh, working on it, sir. Uh, no, this thing. No, uh, no. Okay. That will be the order of the, the day or in the proceedings of the meetings as I presented to you, uh, honorable members. Um, that's how the meeting will unfold. Uh, is there any member which has a different view? No. Okay. Um, Dineo, can you proceed? Dineo. Thank you, Chairperson. Um, Chairperson, um, do I beam this report on the screen to share with members or I just go through it? Members have it before them. Honorable members, do you want the report on the screen? Do you? No. Okay. Honorable Chair, I think for the benefit of the thousands and millions of people that are watching it on YouTube, maybe they want it beamed on the on the screen. Okay. Okay, to now put it on our screens. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Chairperson and, and Honourable Members. Uh, just by way of uh, presenting the report, uh, I will start by mentioning that uh, on the title of the report, uh, Members and Honourable Chairperson will, will realise that there are two dots before May 2020. That is basically for to allow uh, the date of the report will reflect the date that uh, the, the, the committee adopted the report. So as soon as it is adopted by the committee, that date will be reflected there for purposes of, of a record and ATC. And then, Chairperson, um, section one of the report is an introduction, which uh, encompasses the preparatory session and also opening remarks by the chair of the Portfolio Committee and response by the Honourable Minister. And then uh, part two of the report is on the presentation by, by, the, by the DG. I don't know if it's fast enough on, on the screen. It's presentation by, by the DG um, on the on the strategic plan and the APP of the department. Now, 2.1, two, two, two Chairperson, is just the actual uh, 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 narrative by, by the DG who articulated the objectives of the department and the, and the strategic li linkages of the department to, to the NDP which appears under part three. And then um, part four, Chairperson, is on the planned policy initiatives by the department, which refer to the fact that the Foreign Service Bill is before the president. And, the, and then there is a plan for, for a partnership for development bill. 
Part five is on the legislative mandates of the department, Chairperson, which uh, encompass all the acts that the department is responsible for, for implementation and policies which uh, are under the purview of the department. Now, uh, part six of the report, Chairperson, is on, on the strategic plan itself, 2020 to 2025, as presented by, by the department. And um, it only it relates to the strategic focus for the next five years, which the department uh, intends to, 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 to be guided by. And then um, part seven is the annual performance plan itself, 2020-2021, which shows uh, the immediate plan of action by the department where they are focusing on areas which they are going to be zooming in for the next year, for the next, fun, I mean, this financial year. Um, they highlighted uh, several focus areas like building a better South Africa, which its importance is that uh, it links domestic imperatives to foreign policy, which is a, 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 an important narrative and then building a better Africa uh, because of uh, Africa being at the center of South Africa's foreign policy. And then um, the African Union Chairship, which uh, the committee will be reminded that the president is currently the chair of, of African Union. So the program there being a uh, contribution by South Africa in, in the flagship, Agenda 2063 flagship projects and conflict resolution, uh, which are the major focus areas for, for the AU chairship. And then on building a better world, this is where South Africa in the UN Security Council will basically focus on, on a conflict resolution and also reform of the UN Security Council. And then it will also concentrate on, on, on promoting cooperation between the AU and the UN, as it had started in the, in the second term, I mean, second uh, term tenure which it had, and then it's continuing on that principle. And then we will have interdepartmental coordination which relates to uh, the department having to actually strengthen coordination between departments in terms of international work. This, the committee will be reminded that, that has been a challenge uh, facing the department, but uh, the bill has provided for this so that the department takes uh, responsibility and coordination of all international activities. And then uh, confirm South Africa's influence. This is where a, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a new approach, um, I, I may say, Chairperson, in terms of South Africa now actually pronouncing that it's going to be an essential interlocutor and also a bridge builder and a solution finder, where it's not going to be uh, its decisions or, or approaches are not going to be uh, in, in, influenced by interests of other countries, but it will be focusing on solving issues and not favor interests of one or the other party. And then uh, counterterrorism and extremism, uh, this was discussed to say South Africa doesn't, uh, it's, uh, it does not support uh, terrorism and it, it's, it's engaging with the UN in terms of uh, conventions which are anti-terrorism. And then disarmament issues, silencing the guns in Africa is one area where South Africa is going to be focusing on. And then the other element is on women, peace and security agenda, where the department is going to mainstream all aspects of uh, peace and security here at home, regionally and uh, continentally and the world, involving uh, women in those areas. And then women empowerment, 
gender equality and mainstreaming, which is an area which uh, the committee has interest on to make sure that the, the department actually uh, complies with that. And then the agenda of uh, SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals. This is one area where they are going to be also focusing on climate change. It's another area which they are going to be uh, focusing on. And then on South-South Cooperation, the department is also going to still uh, continue advancing mutually beneficial South-South Cooperation as South-South Cooperation is mainly addressing domestic issues. It's countries with a sort of a similar share, shared values and shared uh, challenges. So with regard to cooperations, cooperation with the countries of the North, South Africa is also going to continue uh, bridging the gap between the rich and the poor and making sure that its interaction with the countries of the north would uh, help develop or, or respond to the agenda of the global south and uh, that of South Africa. And also uh, use uh, its relationship with the countries of the north to make sure that uh, South Africa also benefits in the same way. And then relations with the regions of the world, Chairperson, relates to uh, the bilateral relations which South Africa has with different countries. This is where uh, South Africa has a network of missions who are, who are uh, doing a, a lot of work in terms of uh, uh, maintaining those relations and also making sure that South Africa is able to benefit from, from such relations. And then South Africa and the Americas is another area where South Africa uh, has relations and has a cooperation with uh, America North, which is the US. And uh, it's with that uh, agreement of uh, the African Growth and Opportunity Act, AGOA. And also, Mercosur. Mercosur is an agreement with the countries of Latin America, basically, and uh, it's a trade agreement which uh, South Africa also participates as a member in that in that kind of a forum. And then with Asia and Middle East, uh, South Africa maintains polit strong political relations with the countries of Asia, and also South Africa is committed to a stable and peaceful Middle East. Um, and then uh, communicating of South Africa's foreign policy, this is another important area where public diplomacy, we see it uh, advanced in, in this APP to make sure that uh, all the decisions that South Africa uh, makes are communicated timely and to all the people who need to to benefit from that and also to make sure that there is a buy-in from South Africans themselves and the world on South Africa's uh, foreign policy in general. And then uh, building a better department, this is where the department is going to address issues like uh, the organizational structure, which the committee also uh, recommended that it be done. And also, um, address the ICT issues, financial management issues. So these are all the areas where the department intends to, to actually look at for this uh, financial year. Now, in terms of uh, programs, I'll just uh, not go into depth uh, in the programs, Jefferson. Uh, ICT and the Diplomatic Academy are going to be prioritized under program one. And then uh, also the white paper on, on the rights of persons, the department uh, has un undertaken to implement it. Under program two, this is where structured bilateral mechanisms uh, are covered. There is a plan to align them, to review them and align them and see which ones are uh, more beneficial and which ones are, you know, 
because we, th th there are reasons for relations with different countries can be uh, historical solidarity or economic. So I, I, the, the department just wants to review and align align the relations with, I mean, the structured bilateral me mechanisms with with uh, the objectives of the department. Under Program 3, which is international cooperation, uh, the department, the major thing there is the dep department is going to develop a long-term strategy for South Africa's membership and candidatures to international organizations. Uh, they, they would like to, uh, to identify uh, strategic international organizations to which uh, they can be able to uh, campaign for candidates to, to, to work in those organizations so that they are able to, I mean, the country is able to, to influence uh, the outcomes or the decisions of those uh, international organizations. And another thing is to review the membership, to check whether being a, a member of certain uh, organizations will still be relevant or benefit the country in the way that it it, it was meant to at the beginning when the South Africa uh, firstly joined such organizations. So. The, those two are the major projects which are under Program 3. Then under Program 4, it's the public diplomacy strategy where the department intends to actually have develop a diplomatic, I mean, a public diplomacy strategy. Uh, the committee will be reminded that actually all along they have had a very good uh, communication strategy. So, but without a, a, a really standing out public diplomacy strategy itself. So the department is going to align the two so that a, a strategy on PD is available, which will talk to the communication strategy, which already exists. Um, then Chairperson under 10, uh, nine, okay. Under 10 is the strategic plan of the African Renaissance Fund. Uh, the Renaissance Fund is a, a soft power tool uh, which actually assists the department in its uh, diplomatic work or, or is a, tool, a soft power tool for South Africa's foreign policy. And this fund supports the programs of the, of the department, especially in Africa. It, it does, have, however, uh, do uh, provide funding or assistance to other countries other than Africa, but on the main, it's uh, in, in projects in Africa. And uh, the policy mandate there, we have already explained that there is a, a development partnership a bill, which uh, will soon be, which was supposed to, the department has, it was retained by, by referred back by a cabinet for the department and national treasury to discuss issues which were pending or where there was some misunderstanding. So it, it looks like the department is ready now to submit uh, the draft back to, to cabinet before it comes to, to the committee. And then the targets for the next five years of the ARF uh, ARF is mainly going to be assisting or being a, an implementing tool for, especially for the uh, South Africa's chairship in the in the in the AU, so that all the uh, the the projects which uh, the president, as the chair of the AU, would want to to achieve during this tenure, uh, the ARF will be able to to assist. And then the, the, the APP, the annual uh, performance plan for the, for the ARF will also talk to the, to the same issues in terms of um, ensuring that the programs of the, the, the chairperson of the AU are, are implemented and also to make sure that the African continental free trade area 
all the projects that will talk to the implementation of of that uh, African trade free trade area will be supported also by by the ARF, and then uh, projects which uh, South Africa would like to uh, implement with with the SADC region in terms of the regional indicative strategic development plan of SADC will also be supported, and then also the. SADAC SEOM, this is the SADAC election observer missions, which normally, if there are elections within SADAC, uh, the ARF is able to assist in terms of uh, either technical support or uh, sponsoring observers in those elections. So it will continue to to carry on uh, that kind of uh, um, function and then chairperson when we we go to um i won't go into detail this is what i, I was talking about all the the different uh, areas where the arf is going to be concentrating on humanitarian assistance when there are natural disasters human resource development where there is a need to capacitate uh, uh, people in different countries, and then also cooperation between the Republic and other countries, especially uh, African countries. This is where uh, the partnership with the other com uh, other areas, in I mean other uh, development development assistance agencies will happen, and then um, the ARF itself has a, an advisory committee. The current ARF model has a, the act provides for an advisory committee, which is the one which recommends to the two ministers, ministers Minister of Finance and the Minister of International Relations, in terms of which uh, programs uh, should, be, should be adopted. And then uh, now when we go to the actual budget, uh, for this year, chairperson for the department, uh, the department has been allocated an amount of six billion point eight five zero one seven nine, and then uh, the the actual budget in the in, in different uh, programs. Maybe I shouldn't go into detail. I should just go into what appears on the on this budget allocation table to say this is how it looks like currently. And uh, honourable the chairperson and all our members will will will, will, will note that uh, there is a slight there is an increase in terms of uh, budget allocated to the department. Uh, if we compare with the 2019-20, but uh, as the DG explained to members uh, when they presented, uh, it, there might be some changes, adjustments to, to the budget as it stands now. So the department will, will, will talk to that later when that has happened. But as it was presented to parliament before the COVID, this is how it, it looked like. And then um, then the, the rest of the narrative here, Chaperson, is just to say what uh, program one has, program two, as we have shown in that table, and then uh, also areas where this budget is going to be applied, which we have already uh, spoken to. And then um, with regards to uh, the ARF, its budget for this year is 50, 50 million, and uh, what's happening? Fifty million, uh, because the ARF has has been getting a reduced budget uh, over time because of the challenges which uh, challenges of governance which it, 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 it has the national treasury has been 
uh, year in year out lately, reducing the budget of the ARF. In any event, the, the, the ARF have, has a surplus uh, budget, which from every year it, it does have a surplus and it, it, it has to be uh, deposited back into its account with the Reserve Bank. And it does have a, a sort of uh, capital accumulating. So from year in, year out, lately they are receiving a, a, a very reduced budget, but in any event, they are still able to, to achieve their, their, their objectives planned for the year. But it's one of the areas where uh, the need for, for move to SATPA arises, because now uh, the, 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 the National Treasury really wants to see how, how best the ARF, I mean, uh, an, an agency or a component can be able to, to administer and also to administer the funds under the ARF and also uh, carry the mandate of the ARF forward. Jefferson, I'll stop there because now we are on 15, which is uh, the observations and concerns or the findings of the committee. Uh, that's the presentation um, from um, from Gineo. Um, is there any comments on on that presentation? On that which is presented by Dineo, is there um, comments, the honourable members? Sure, yes, sure, yes, sure. Who's chair? Who's who's calling my name? It's me, and I've raised my hand on your system. My name is Becky. But I don't see any hands here on the system. Okay, I'll re raise. I, I see no no hand next to your name. No, it is there. Where? Okay, I've lowered it now and I'm going to Raise it. I've lowered it, but I'm raising it again. Who else is here raising the hand? I see no hands here. I've raised my hand as well. Honorable Nkosi, Honorable Bergman. Hi, guys. I don't know what's this um, iPad of mine. What is, what is it doing today? Surely, Jay, it's determined to collapse me. So, um, Honorable Ngozi, and then followed by Honorable Bachman. Thank you, Chairperson. Um, <clears throat> the analysis and report by Medineo is welcomed. I think it's very extensive. I just want to indicate from the onset that there are a number of not typographical, but you know, language issues that we can uh, attend to after. But specifically on the introduction, I think uh, the now made in now should be able to correctly characterize the the code situation we're in. Now, just to indicate that the rules of Parliament have been adapted in the wake of the COVID disaster. That's why the virtual meetings were held. I, am I audible? Hey, we're listening to you. Okay. I also think that on the introduction, the, the various instruments that we went through should be enumerated, like the strategic plan, the APP, the MTSF framework, rather than being in one sentence, because it just reads continuously and may confuse. So if she can just bullet those uh, aspects. Chair, on the 
VUCA, the volatile, uncertain, conflictual, and adversarial characterization. I think it's important to reflect uh, that as a country, we'll need greater collaboration among and between departments in addressing this changing volatile uh, situation because of COVID. That there, there are going to be realignments, and we're already seeing them at an economic level, and the extent to which they happen at a political level, what is it that we're going to do as a department? I think that will come in the next uh, revised budget. That's, that's accepted, but we should capture it, in particularly in relation to uh, what it means for the country to move from a, a national interest, take into consideration that we're located in the continent. On the issue of SATPA, and I, I noted in the responses, but it's also contained in the report, we indicated that we need a roadmap. We don't need an indication that the, the report, I mean, the, the bill is with the president. We just need, a, a, I mean, not the, not the bill, sorry, but that the bill is being taken internally in the cabinet processes. We need a roadmap of exactly what is going to happen after that. Is the department ready? What are the processes that they will put in place once the bill is in parliament and after parliament? What are the concrete things that are going to be done in the form of a roadmap? And on the African parliament, Chair, I think we agreed that the short turning is important, but it is not going to happen. But the department needs to provide us with a concrete program of how, after they identify the land, they are going to build the parliament. So we need to have an indication, is it an architectural design? Uh, how are they going to procure for the construction of the African parliament? How long is it going to take, etc.? So that we, we don't just do a sort turning for the sake of doing a sort turning. In any way, when you do a sort turning, the assumption is that all these back office um, things have been catered for and we are actually ready to construct. And then, Chair, there's, we've requested that the RA, RISTP, the Regional Integrated Strategic Development Plan for SADC, should be forwarded to us so that we don't speak to a document that we do not uh, actually see. Uh, the last two points are around communication. I think the, the, the department does have a communication strategy, but I don't think that at a domestic level, in the adult country level, we are able to communicate what the department is doing in a manner that is proactive and, and not reactive. So we need, we need to understand that in the context of our international relations, this is what the department is doing. These are our interventions. These are the desired results, and this will be the impact on a continuous basis so that we don't react when, for example, somebody raises that there is there are attacks in Mozambique, in northern Mozambique, we then respond and react without us being proactive. And the, the last point is around the cash and cash equivalents. I've noted the extensive response provided to us on how the department is going to ensure balancing of the cash and uh, cash equivalents. Go, go, go see. We, are not, we are not on responses now. We are on the presentation. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Speak on the presentation, leave responses. We are going to deal with the responses in another meeting. Okay, no thanks. Then that, that's fine. That's fine. Chair, thanks very much. Um, just to say that uh, I, I'll welcome the report, but I think if we just highlight the issues a bit more, let them stand out a bit, it would be a remiss of us not to let the lessons learned from COVID, um, not to bring them out more um, substantially into their own separate, maybe a separate heading uh, on themselves, and say what we've learned from COVID-19. Um, I, for one, 
I've definitely seen how the problem with leadership is that uh, I think we've had to rely on different structures. I've, I definitely believe the DG has been hands-on. I've appreciated the assistance that the, the DG has been giving to people. I've seen it um, myself hands-on. But um, we've had to rely on a net joints. We've had to rely on, you know, there's all there's so many chiefs at the moment. Um, everyone's got a title. And I, and I think that uh, part of the problem has been is that the organogram has never, we've never really solved the problem of the organogram. So when we get to the structure and we talk about the two bulls again, I think it's going to be a, a necessity that this organogram is is actually kitted out with with skills at the top, and that there's a spread of skill at the top to to support whoever the DG is. I'm not going to personalize it, but to support the positions of DG, CFO, um, and and COO, et cetera, et cetera, and that there that there's a, a depth of it. In, in that regard. I also feel that uh, I think we've also got a, a sense that our footprint abroad, and as the minister said, it's not something that the committee can really discuss because it almost it comes from a cabinet decision, but it is something that the committee can push. And I don't think we should stop pushing it. That as a committee, I think we can see that the footprint is too big, that we as South Africa shouldn't have the second biggest footprint of missions in the world. And um, we've seen it now with all the stranded people in the world, we cannot offer them consular services. They are expecting it. And we have all the ambassadors all over, but some of them are as useless as having just the, you know, as having a tree there. In fact, the tree is more useful than having the ambassador there. And I think for us, you know, I've seen some very good ambassadors, but I've really seen, as I said, you know, I'd, I'd get more, but you get more from shaking the tree. And for me, I'd look at it and say to you that we can do without that. You know, we could close some of these missions and South Africa would look be looked upon much better and much more favorable for not having those ambassadors there. And if you look at it and you say to yourself, instead of saying some countries should be not having an ambassador there because of how they treat another country or because of what we feel about that country, there's monetary and economical good sense as to why we should not have a relationship with certain countries or why we should not have a mission in those countries. And in fact, in some countries which are small in size, we've got two or three missions there. In fact, we don't even have enough staff there, though, but we've got these three or four missions. Um, in terms of the memberships as well, you know, you look at BRICS and you look at the South-South membership and you look at, um, you know, all these bodies, African Union and uh, the rooms. And we're paying a lot of money to be members in these organizations. And then you look at what happened during COVID and you look at where did it translate into. Now, for me, I think one of our biggest failings has been repatriation from Brazil, Russia, India, and China. And I think if we had used our membership more appropriately, even if we had to bring in cargo from China, or Brazil, uh, Russia, we could have used that to bring in people back from Russia, uh, China, um, India, and Brazil. Instead, uh, airlines like Qatar are coming in when we could have been using uh, failing airlines like South African Airways or using our membership where we're paying 200 and odd million rand and rather brought uh, their airline in and done, you know, done some quid pro quo in that regard. And then finally, our asset management, you can now see that just in this COVID exercise, as the DG said last week, just from the, the RAND hedging from 14 to 19 RAND, our budget all of a sudden loses a whole, you know, 500 million RAND off, off the cake without it, with, with not, nothing to show for it. It just goes. And in the previous term, I said we should be buying dollars. We should be holding on to the dollars. I don't know how we can do it. You know, whether instead of the rats eating the million dollars in, in your run, you know, you hold you hold that cash somewhere where the rats can't get into the into the <laughs> cash. <laughs> but uh, honorable, honorable members, honorable Bachman. Yes. Sorry for sorry for interrupting you. 
I was giving you an opportunity, honorable members, to speak on whether the report is a true reflection of what we discussed in, uh, in our last meeting and whether everything is captured. Let us not do matters yeah. arising. Uh, please, honorable members, we, we don't have time. Okay. We are going to do matters arising when we are dealing with the, um, the responses. Uh, which we got uh, from the department. Okay, Chair, I'll wrap yeah. up. But just if, if, so, if I can just have those points noted, please. Though, um, as 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 my matters are rising as well. Thank you very much for your leniency. All right. Thank you, Honourable Swartz. Honourable Swartz. I'm <laughs> here, Chair. Um, thank you, Chair. Chair, we welcome the we welcome <laughs> the report. The report does capture what we discussed, Chair. Um, however, Chair, under infrastructure, I know that we are not talking on responses, but I just want to raise that um, because we are talking about the APP. The department has included this chair and they've aligned it to the APP and budget. Uh, whereas uh, they do not have a real plan and capacity to implement chair. Um, they've responded to us. I'm raising it because we are going to approve this chair and um, the department has responded today that they do not have the skills and no one in the department has got the qualifications in the built environment. So the department, in essence, Chair, is undertaking to do something in the APP which they do not have the skills for and which they've budgeted for. So they are running a function through their finances which they are not qualified to do, Chair. And they are saying they've commenced what a strategy. So how does the department comment with a strategy out? I'm, I'm therefore saying, Chair, that because it's already in the APP and they have aligned it, they must go out into the broad environment industry and get property a property management strategy. They need to get a PMU to implement the bare minimum to get to the ground what started on the property management strategy. Because in the report, we know mentions Namibia, and Namibia for them should be a long hanging fruit that they must first implement. Next year, they will be giving us the same report, Chair. As public work is not assisting us. Uh, we can take, for example, how long it took them to implement the PEP project, which means that public works is not capable as well in this instance. And the department must start really, in reality, implementing what is, uh, the, the bill is going to give them a muscle to do. Because I don't know what they are saying when they are saying in their response they have comments. Honorable Swartz, yes. those points yes, are yes. points for us when we are considering the responses uh, by the department. All I want to know is whether the report captures exactly what was discussed by the Portfolio Committee in our last meeting. It's very important. Yes, it has to. Yeah. So can we pass because we've got other things to consider as well. Uh, Honorable Molda. Your call has been placed on hold. Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, <coughs> Thank you, Chairperson. I would like to express my uh, thanks to the drafters of the report. I think a lot of work has been done. And I think the report is a true reflection of our last discussion. It deals with the budget as being put in front of us. 
and the reaction of the committee. So I think that report is really a true reflection and I would support it. Thank you. Thank you um, so much, uh, Honorable Mulder. Uh, Honorable members, I see no face, no name. There is someone who has uh, who has connected here with admin at ANC 600. Who's that? Who's that? Who has connected here yeah, like that in our meeting? Remove, remove Che if he doesn't identify him or herself. Remove. I'm removing. Yes, remove. Oh. Why are we infiltrated now? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Chini. Um, is there any other honorable member who wants to have a bite? So the, the, the report is in actual fact a true reflection. Yes, sir. I will also only what is presented by um Comrie. Who, who else is who's there? Who is chair, 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 chair and shouting here? Yeah, who's that? Ubanilo on the visa. Can you see my hand? Seemingly, honorable members, we have a problem with the connection today. Because you you are breaking, most of you are breaking. I can't even hear what you say. Is that honorable, Monsieur? Yes, yes. Um, uh, DM DM uh, Lamini, can you mute your mic? Okay, on, um, Honorable Mishwe. Thank you, Chairperson. In welcoming the report, I, I would just want to know at what stage we can ask questions of clarity, because I have two, if permissible. Clarity on what is presented? Yes, ma'am. Okay, proceed. Um, with regards to the repatriation of South Africans from across the globe, I, I want to know how many South Africans are still outside the country uh, who want to come yeah, to the I country. Honorable, I, honorable Reverend, I, uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. All right. That thing is not, it's not what was discussed in our meeting last time. We are discussing what was presented by the department to the meeting of the portfolio committee last week. That's what we're about today. So all, yes, these I... new, all these new questions now, which are not on the, on the presentation, are going to confuse us. We are considering the budget report, uh, which we compiled after after the portfolio committee meeting. That's what we are doing today. That's so well received. All these, all these new uh, questions um, we are going to we are going to be confused. And we in fact we are you see now we are strict with time because we we we, we must be punctual as punctual as possible when we are running these virtual meetings. Please honorable members. Can we focus on what uh, Dineo presented, rather? Yeah, person, my question was based on 15.1. Maybe let me leave that one and come to the second one about um, ARF having surplus budget yearly. Now, the question based on that is for how long, how many years to come? 
Will we is 15.1 is 15 a misrepresentation of what we discussed in our meeting? No, it is not. Is, is that, is the, is that 15.1 a misrepresentation of what we discussed in our last meeting? The answer is no. And if the answer is no, let, in fact, we are not even on the findings yet because that is not what Dineo presented to us. So probably, Dineo, you must proceed with the findings. Hi, Dineo. Yes, Chairperson. Proceed with the page one of the findings. Because the Honorable Mishwe is now discussing findings. Can you present these findings, rather? And it's okay. good that Honorable Members have read the findings. Is yes. there any that is not um, a reflection um, of our meeting on the findings, Honorable Members, since you have read them? What findings? Present. Um, Jefferson, on the on the findings, um, it, it, the findings appear under uh, section 15 of the report, and 15.1 yeah. is uh, with regards to the repatriation of South Africans from across the globe. There was appreciation to the minister for her notable efforts. So, Jefferson, under your guidance, should I go through? All our members are going to comment on each and every one as we go along. Hello, Chairperson. Honorable members. Honorable members. You want us, do you want us to read uh, these observations for yourselves? You want us to read. You want you want us to present these observations to no. you. No, Chairperson. Sorry. No. So from fifteen point one uh, to fifteen point six, is there any point which is a misrepresentation of our of our findings? I mean, of our of our Minting. of our interactions. Yes. Yes, which point is that? Who's saying yes? I can't see your faces now because there's a presentation here. Can't see your faces. Who is saying yes? Chairperson. Muela here. Yes. No, no, I'm in agreement with you, Chairperson, on 15.1. I was saying yes because you were speaking about 15.1. It's me who said yes. 15.2. I take it there's no issues. 15.3. No issues. 15.4. No issues. 15.5, no issues. 15 .6, 15.6, 15.8, 15.9, 15.10, 11, 12, I was sleeping, 13, I'm not sleeping, 15.13, 15.14, 15.15, 1515 15. You are I, I can't hear because you are breaking whoever was shouting my name there. 
is breaking on my title in the meeting. 15.6. No issues, Che. 15.7. This is a long meeting. We've lost the chair. Are we still in the meeting? Uh, I am here, yeah, but I can't hear the chair. Yeah, I also can't hear. Ma? Shepherdson, we've lost you. Chair. Lubabalo. The ch the chair has lost connection, honorable members. She she's trying to reconnect. Okay. Okay. And and then um she's asking me to proceed with uh, just uh, calling on the on the on the numbers. We are on sixteen honorable members. I don't know whether the whip is around also. He's not. This, okay. Uh, connection still. Um, okay. 16.1. This this is on the responses by the department. Okay. 16.2. 16.2. 16.2. Hello, Dneo. Hello, Honourable Member. 16.2, um, regarding the, the department was in a process of reviewing the structure and so on, uh, that it will report at an appropriate time. Um, the appropriate time, I think um, 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 uh, it must be, it must be corrected. What is appropriate time? Um, the 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 context under which we were reporting is that 
they were not yet ready with the the organizational structure uh, with the review so at the time when they have completed the process they will be able to share it with the committee the but the committee can uh, suggest another sort of another wedding for that honorable it was just referring to the time when they are ready once the process has has taken place colleagues the chairperson in the beginning of the meeting indicated that the content of the response the responses she wants us to discuss at the further meeting the next meeting so i'm not sure if we should go into the detail of the responses at this stage okay that's fine Okay, um, the chair is not yet back. 16.3, honorable members. Sixteen point four, sixteen point five, sixteen point six. 16 point seven, sixteen point eight, sixteen point nine, sixteen point ten, 16 16.13 16.14 16.15 16.16 and 16.17 16.18 and 16.19. Agreed. Uh, section 17. Conclusion. Conclusions. Ready now. And that day. Yeah. May, honorable members, may, may I suggest that the point made by Honorable Beckman earlier on the on COVID, the impact and responses there to uh, be flagged as a point that the department must come back to us on in a comprehensive manner later. Honourable members, may I suggest one of the members uh, take over as I'll just be reading the the numbers in terms of what is on the board, but I'm uh, but not part of the meeting with members as such as 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 a staff member. <laughs> you are delegated to proceed. Proceed. <laughs> Seventeen is what conclusion we done. Okay, the seventeen. Okay, honourable members, and then um, then we we go to eighteen, which is the committee recommendations. Thank you. 
Okay. Eight, 18.3. Yes. 18.4. Yes. 18.5. Yes. 18.6. Yes, remember, I'm signing this point. I'll take it on the graph. 18.7 yeah. 18.9 yes 18.10 18 18.12 18.13 18.14 18.15. Agreed. 18.16. Agreed. 18.17. Agreed. Sorry, Dineo. Sorry, Dineo. Yes, honorable member. Um, uh, uh, IT is requesting that all members whose mics are on that they please mute. Okay. Mute. Thank you. Kuba Dineo, Kuba says. Oh, And then to the National Assembly, 18.23, and 18.25. And the recommendation at the end. Thank you, honorable members. Honorable Coast, I suggest um, uh, and honorable members that we we identify one honorable member to take us through so that uh, we deal with the report um, uh, as, as, as presented.
honourable members, uh, may, may I suggest that because the chair is not here and the meeting created earlier, that we concentrate on the aspect of adopting the report uh, so that each and every one of us can then, I mean, some, somebody can propose and then we adopt the report and we adjourn the meeting. I think earlier Honorable Melder has, has, has made such a, a, a proposal, if we can go back to it and then come back and seek from members whether they support Honorable Melder and then we close the meeting. Colleagues, I, I, I would propose that Mr. Nkosi act as acting chairperson if, if the <laughs> colleagues agree that we do it formally, please. <laughs> And and I second that uh, Honourable Mulder and other Honourable Members that we formally request Honourable Nkosi to proceed as acting chair. Thank you. I support. I support. Okay. Okay, Honourable Members, the the report has been tabled and the recommendations have been made to Parliament. May I have somebody move for the adoption of the report? Chairperson, um, I would move that we adopt the report as we've handled, as, as we've just dealt with it. Thank you very much. Honourable members, there is a motion for the adoption of the report. Is there a seconder? I second, Chairperson. Chair the I, I did it. I, I did it, Honorable Chair. Okay. Honorable members, there's uh, a second for the report. Is there an objection? Is there an objection? Noting going one, two, Three, the report is adopted by the committee. With your permission, honorable members, if there is no other thing, may we ask uh, committee support to indicate what the next process is and then have proposal for attending the meeting. Uh, Medineo. Uh, thank you, Chairperson. Um... Lubaba Lo Sikwela will be in the position to give the, to say what the process is going to be. Luba. Oh, hello. Uh, thank you, honorable members. I was on the phone with the chairperson. Uh, however, uh, following the meeting, uh, the report will be submitted for ATC, which will appear on the ATC of next week, Monday. Okay. Chairperson, could I Hello. ask Luba then just to inform the chairperson of the outcome of the meeting then, please? Okay. I'm here. I'm here. The chair is here. You were saying? <laughs> Hello, chair. Okay. Hello, I'm chair. <laughs> Okay, Chair, may I formally inform you that the meeting formally adopted the report unanimously and a request was made to support staff, particularly Mr. Lubavalo, to inform you of this, as I am doing now. The next item is the adjournment of the meeting. I hand over to you. Can you lower your hand? Why are you cheering and your hand is up? Honourable, yes. No, my hand was not up. Ah, but your hand is up. I'm looking at it. Yeah, now okay. your hand is up. Okay, thank you, honourable members. Uh, today is a bad day for us. A uh, network is uh, is unleashed on us by the evil forces, so that our committee does not proceed swiftly. We can see that. Um, uh, honorable members, uh, can you can I hear uh, you saying you have adopted the report? Yes, 
with no with no amendments. Is that what you are saying? Adopting the report with no amendments. So it is fine as it is. Um, the people who crafted the report, yeah, they, they just captured everything and honorable members are happy. Yes, Chair, I can confirm as the interim chair. I, honorable members, must speak for themselves. Honorable Bergman, is that so? Chair, sorry, I was cut off a bit there. I'm um, um, saying, are we are we in agreement that we are adopting the, the the budget vote report with no reservations or amendments? No, sorry, it's with my it's with what I raised in my inputs that the matters are rising, and then it's fine. Ah, uh, you can't raise matters are rising on the report, Galoku. Matters are rising on the report. Oh, no, what I raised mean, earlier. The, the input you allowed raised, me to raise. What, what you raised earlier was it to say the report it's not, is not a, 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 a true reflection. No, no, no. It was, not, it was a reflection. I was just saying those points that they captured in the report. Mm -hmm. Most of it is captured. Uh, do you know you can remove them, this thing yeah, on the screen? The presentation. So, Honorable, Honorable Molda. Yes, ma'am. Um, are we in agreement? Is the interim chair representing you properly? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I even proposed. I even proposed him. <laughs> you propose for the, are you moving for the adoption of the report? Who seconded? Yes, I that? Who, who seconded that, Lubabalo? Honorable Swartz. Honorable no, Swartz. Yes, Chabesin, it's Honorable Swartz, Chair. Oh, okay. No, I must satisfy myself. I no, can't yeah, take a place. The DA will just reserve our rights. We, you, there's enough people uh, accepting. It's fine. <laughs> you, you reserve your right to do what now, Honorable Bechman, because when I entered here, I was told unanimously you have no, adopted. No, I wasn't. I couldn't open my mute. My unmute. I think there was a. I think there was a sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so meaning you and me were sabotaged, didn't it? I Both think so. Mm, I think it said Mr. Okay. Mulder. <laughs> so you you reserve your right uh, to yeah. adopt the report. Yes, as always. Uh, yeah, as always. But it's <laughs> a bit in jail. You, you won't have an opportunity to to even make a declaration in that honourable house of Nelson Mandela. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I probably because won't even get a chance. I'll be standing alone there in that house of Nelson Mandela tabling the report before the National Assembly. And when you'll be sitting where virtual, you are going to break network is going to come for you. That <laughs> I know. So, so honorable members, um, be that as it may, um, we, we have adopted the report unanimously. On, we are going to record, in fact, that um, Democratic Alliance reserves uh, their right uh, to adopt the report. Um, so the majority of members of the Portfolio Committee have adopted the report. Is that a clear capture of what has transpired here? Are well, we in Well, keep chapter. Thank you for coming yes, back. Chair. You got your mics. We don't want to hear your husbands and boyfriends talking there and the wives. <laughs> okay. Then, honorable members, um, our meeting was scheduled um, for three o'clock to six o'clock. And now it's quarter to five. Uh, our meeting. Um, uh, Lubabalo, are the minutes ready for the adoption? Lubabalo. Lubabalo.
Did you Lubabal? Lubabal. Oh, hello, Chair. Do we have minutes? Yes, I can hear you, Chairperson. Do we have minutes for a do we have minutes for adoption? Hello, Chair. Ibana. Lubabalo. Do we have minutes for adoption? No, Chair, not today, Chair. Yeah, I can see you are frozen. You have network problems yourself. It's fine. So, honourable members, um, our portfolio committee meeting, um, the next portfolio committee meeting, we are going to consider a report, uh, or we are going to receive a presentation from the department on COVID nineteen. And in that meeting, we are also going to deal with the responses from the department right so we need to get um lubabalo we need to get a written a note from a uh, honorable msane that says they are rejecting the report we don't want that to be clubbed with apologies you reject the report clean you write that you submit it it's very important for us as the portfolio committee to have it in writing so we must have that tomorrow. Please, it must be confirmed to me that it you have you have you have you have um received uh, that note from from Honorable Msane of the EFF. So if there's nothing else, um, uh, Honorable members, um, from our side, uh, I think it is very important um for us um to say. Uh, or to adjourn our meeting, to say our meeting is adjourned until uh, our next meeting. Um, DM, where is DM Masiko Lamini? DM, is she here? Honorable Masiko Lamini. Luyanda, where is DM Mashiko Lamin? Honorable Mashiko Lamini? Did you, where is the DM? Uh, Chairperson, I, I think she lost contact. Uh, she, she's, she has got network problems. But I can see her phone, Jay, is still connected here. Honorable Masiko Lamini, DMT Minister. You see, she's not here, she's gone. Um, then if she is not here, uh, it means um, um, no summary from the department. Um, thank you so much, um, DG, uh, with your with your team and honourable members um, for availing uh, yourselves uh, during this difficult time of um, of COVID nineteen. Uh, it is always important for us um, um, to to engage uh, and also uh, see each other. Uh, even though it's not physical, because uh, contact and uh, Jay, it's, uh, it's prohibited until um, we we are we are advised otherwise uh, by the by the team uh, nationally that deals with this COVID. Um, our meeting uh, is adjourned. Uh, hoping next time when we see you, you will still be size 28. We don't want size 40s here. Uh, Honorable Muela and Honorable Swartz, I can see you've gained a lot of weight. At least I was with Honorable Molder in the house. Uh, still healthy. He's still healthy. Uh, I can see he has not gained any weight. So it's important that 
as you visit your fridges, um, you, you, you engage on healthy food. Uh, otherwise, we don't want people uh, to be declared as a diabetic when they come back. Uh, on the 1st of June, I heard that uh, honorable members, some of them are coming back. Uh, we're looking forward uh, to see you, uh, but we'll continue and engage virtually. That's what we were told. So our meeting is urgent. Let me unmute Mamu Zungu so that has a tether. Mamu Zungu. Mamu Zungu ya bingelela. Ay, Mamu Zungu ya bingelela. Mamu Zungu ya bingelela. Mamu Zungu, can you unmute your mind? Mamu Zungu. Uti, uti, chepe said, uti, emu ti ni muti ili lapa kwa uya niza matakakoni. Mamu Zungu ya bingelela. Ay, uti, ema, uti, ema ka mute wanga bandla. Ay, bo, she must unmute. Ay, mefanya ili ba na unmute ili ka loko. Ya, bo, na wote, meeting is agenda. She, that opportunity now ceases to exist because we are done with the meeting. We are born, I don't know what happened to her. Eh, DG. DG. It's good to see you after a very long time of disappearance. Really? If the DG looks young, now I look like a toddler then. Yes, yes. Nice. Mm. Look, look your smile. Yeah, I look toddlerish. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> if this looks younger, me, I'm a toddler. Eh, TP. Bye. Hi, honorable members. Lubabalo and Dineo, I'm going to engage with you, Ekaleni. Nina, you, I must always keep contact with you, otherwise this portfolio can collapse in, in your hands. I don't want this portfolio community to collapse in your hands. I teach you are in the office. You look like a teacher that is marking exam papers there. Are you marking exam papers there, DG? What are you doing there? I'm a submissions chair. We we I'm still on duty and then I'm I'm trying to draft at the same time a note verbal informing. The diplomatic court that we are now at level three, they can open their missions and in accordance with our arrangements. Today we were having a ministerial council on SADC. So I'm just uh, finishing some of the things, but thanks the committee for leading us. So these uh, ambassadors are here in South Africa or they went yes, home? They, no, they never went home. At that time, they, we looked like we are safe from COVID. I think they want to go now because we are an epicenter. But they've okay. been chasing after us and asking, where, 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 are we also included in the regulations? I said, yes, domestic laws. Are so we, I'm trying to, if to we, send if them are, something before five If we are an epicenter, Afri America is what? Oh. Multiple epicenter. Oh, I thought as much. Okay, did you know why? Uh, thank you very much, honorable members. Um, who is still here? Madlala, show your face. You want